Hey guys, it's Elliot, and I am one year and five months on testosterone. If you actually follow my videos, you will understand that this is not where I should be. I should be a little bit farther along, and that is because my testosterone is on back order. I was told in early November that my testosterone was on back order, and that was about two shots. I had two shots left inside my vial, and it's supposed to be like a three-month vial, but it definitely doesn't last three months. Um, so that was a little alarming, especially because I had my hysterectomy on, like, November the 13th or whatever day it was. So I was told that I wouldn't go through, like, menopause as much because I'll be on testosterone, so I was kind of happy with that because I already have hot flashes. But then, <laughs> now my testosterone's on back order, so I've, um, I've only had one shot between today, it's January the 9th, and, um... No, since my hysterectomy in November. So, uh, it's been rough. I only caved in. I was trying to, like, sh save my shots and make sure, like, I could need one in case of an emergency. And I was getting to the point where I was getting heat flashes so bad that, like, I couldn't stand it. Like, I'd go into a room and I would just start melting and I was so uncomfortable. I'd get crabby. So, uh, I definitely needed to take a shot. And I did a shot last week and I'm already starting to get hot flashes again because it's been, like, over a week since my last shot. They told me I wouldn't be getting my testosterone or they, at least they wouldn't start, like, getting it out again till the end of February. So I still have, like, a month and a half to go, which is not exciting. But, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can get it a little bit sooner. The reason my testosterone is on back order is because the normal type of testosterone, uh, testosterone cp &E, I do injections. Um, I'm actually allergic to, which I've made a video about. And then, uh, so I'm on a different type of testosterone right now. It's called testosterone enanthate. And people are, like, weird about it. So, um, I usually get mine through a mailing service, they just mail it right to my door with a couple of syringes, and, um, because they were out of it, I went to see if any stores still had it in stock before they ran out and wouldn't be able to get some till February, so, um, I went to, like, my local Walgreens, and the lady was so rude, she was like, I haven't seen testosterone at Nanthate in 19 years, and I was like, well, I injected in myself, so, like, it still exists. Like, I promise that's the... She just thought I didn't know what type of testosterone I was on. And I, like, explained the situation to her, but she's... She, like, wasn't convinced. Whatever. I always have problems at that Walgreens. Usually, it's not, um, the, the lady who's, like, mean. Usually, she's fine. Even though, like, it was a different lady than normal. It's this guy. He always gives me a hard time, and he tries to upcharge me on my syringes if I need to get extras or something. It's so obnoxious, and he's always like, I need to see your ID. And I'm like, you don't, because, like, what if I'm having a diabetes attack? Like, I take diabetes medication, so they don't know. Anyway, a rant. <laughs> um, yeah, I called a couple places, and they said the nearest place um the closest place that had testosterone and anthate to me was like 45 minutes away and i couldn't make the drive it's been really bad uh we have bad rainstorms here and i'm noticing a helicopter outside my house so cool cool um <laughs> we have bad storms here and that uh can become a problem when you're driving especially if you have to drive over bridges sometimes they close bridges because of high wind and uh, most of the time like florida usually gets hurricanes but if we ever get tornadoes which is rare it's because it's a water spout starts in the ocean and it just like spirals up onto the land and just like destroys some buildings so uh they often close bridges and stuff fun fun times so um yeah i Definitely am feeling like a little wonky not being on testosterone. Like my mood's a little different and I have to remind myself, I'm like, Elliot, you're only sad because you're not on testosterone. And as some of you guys know, like I'm already like heavily sedated on like antidepressants and anti-anxiety. Um, so there's that. I'm also, um, I had my, what is it, like six week post-op appointment for my hysterectomy. I went to that and she said I wasn't fully healed. All the incisions on my, um, my stomach, my stomach, were all healed. One of them's a little, um, one of them's like a little dark. Like you can see that there's still an incision there, but it's like underneath the skin. Not an incision, a stitch. And so, um, that, and it's a little 
tender to the touch, but she said because it's not like warm and it doesn't like look all gross, then we know it's not infected. So she's basically just going to make sure that doesn't happen. She's like, call me if anything happens. So cool. Scared of infection always. Um, and then she said my, uh, intravaginal stitches. I still have some of those. So I'm allowed to go back to work and I've already gone back to work. Um, cause I missed, I missed the kiddos, but I have to be careful, you know, like exercising and not picking up anything too heavy because like, you know, I wouldn't, I don't want those breaking before they need to. And she said when they do come out, they'll be purple, which is a little weird. And she said I might not even notice when they come out. So other than that, I feel pretty well healed. It's hard getting my stamina back up, especially with a bunch of kindergartners. Like, having to, um, we, we like play freeze tag and there's just a lot of them. So it's hard to get my heart back up and pumping when I haven't exercised or done anything in like three months now. Not that I really exercised a lot before, but even just running around. It, it, it takes a lot of energy out of me. Other than that, I think that's pretty much my newest update. I'm also going to do... Okay, I, I don't remember. Did I do this at the beginning? Well, if I do it again... I'm not going to edit this video because I'm too lazy. So if I do it again, sorry. Um, this is my voice one year and five months on testosterone.